Hey guys, Clumsy Dad here with a little tangent. Being a little scandalous here with a list of games from t Tabletop 2016. Since I'm not an intense gamer, but I just want to give you my perspective. Here's are some of the names that you might think about when you think about Top Games, Terraforming Mars, Seafall, Great Western Trail, Scythe, Star Wars Rebellion, um, <clears throat> Mansions of Madness, Mech versus Minions, Feast for Odin, Cry Havoc, and Innis. These are some of the big games, some heavier games, and some very well respected games, but these are a little bit too intense for me, so I'm going to give you some of my perspective and kind of what I'm looking at. Uh, some dice games like Knock Mall, Dice Stars have recently come out, uh, card game like Behind the Throne, Hannah Mikoji. These are kind of lighter style filler games. It's really my bread and butter, what I enjoy doing uh, with my son, with some friends and family. And this other game has caught my attention, Tief Taschen. It's a German game. Um, it's about blackmail and bribing the government, not themes I usually like, but I kind of like how this game is cleverly laid out. Uh, some other ones recommend Happy Salmon, a cute little kids game we have. Uh, Germania Magna, a semi-co-op historical game, a uh, card game that uh, is interest for me probably just because of the historical theme. Uh, Raymaster is a cute little game about a uh, ray shrinker. It shrinks your dice or supposedly so you play with mini dice too that have different roles and it's kind of a cute little uh, uh, scenario. And then Rhine River Trade by uh, Stefania and Marco who did Zanguo. So a little German tangent for me as well. So this is kind of what I like. This is kind of my filler style, some games I'm interested in. If you like this kind of thing, Susan Sheldon on the Dice Tower just came out with her uh, first 10 of her top 50, so that would be kind of along the same lines that I'm interested in. So thanks for hanging with me. I hope you had a great 2016. Talk to you later. Clumsy Dad.